This video shows the proper installation, startup, and shutdown procedures for your Fisher T200 series regulator. Before beginning, check for any damage to or debris in the regulator and ensure that all piping is clean and unobstructed. The T200 series regulator may be mounted in any orientation provided the flow through the body follows the direction indicated on the arrow on the body. The spring case barrel should be installed pointing down. The spring case vent should be installed facing down to prevent buildup of moisture or foreign materials. If necessary, the diaphragm casing can be rotated to achieve the desired orientation. To remotely vent the regulator, Remove the vent cap and install piping into the 1 quarter NPT tapping. For the T205M, T205B, T208M, install the control line. The control line should be as short and straight as possible with a downward slope to prevent condensation buildup. Install the pipe in a location that is not turbulent, keeping away from swages or elbows. The sensing line must enter the tank above the liquid level at a point that senses the vapor space pressure and is free from turbulence. Control line pipe should be at least one half inch and increase one pipe size for every 10 feet with set point less than five in WC. Your regulator is now installed and ready for startup. To start your Fisher T200 series regulator, first open the outlet block valve. If your model uses external sensing, open the control line block valve now. Slowly open the supply line shutoff valve and leave it fully open. Adjust the outlet pressure as desired using a pressure gauge to monitor blanketing pressure. For internal flat circular adjusting screw, remove closing cap. Turn adjusting screw clockwise to increase outlet pressure or counterclockwise to decrease outlet pressure. Replace closing cap gasket and install closing cap. For external squared head adjusting screw, loosen the lock nut. Turn adjusting screw clockwise to increase outlet pressure or counterclockwise to decrease outlet pressure. Tighten the lock nut. Your T200 series regulator is now ready for operation. To shut down your Fisher T200 series regulator, first close the nearest upstream shutoff valve. Close the nearest downstream shutoff valve. For regulators with external sensing, close the control line valve and vent the diaphragm to the atmosphere. Open the vent valve between the regulator and the closest downstream shutoff valve. Your Fisher T200 series regulator is now shut down. Thank you for choosing Fisher Regulator Technologies. Please refer to the instruction and maintenance videos of the T200 video series for further information on the Fisher T200 series regulator.